All right, hey everybody. Welcome to Plant Based Homestead Prepper, where we make prepping fun. Today, I want to talk to you guys about this coronavirus once again and how long it's going to take before you realize you have it. All right, so um, no intros today, none of that silly stuff. We're just going to talk. Um, I'm getting, I'm getting, com well, I'm, I'm, I'm not getting confirmed, but I'm getting reports right now that it is taking upwards to 20 to 24 days to find out if you even have the virus. Now there is supposedly a cruise ship somewhere off the coast of Japan or in the port of Japan or whatever, and they have like 3,400 people on board. I think that's the number I heard. And they can they cannot test everyone. They've only been testing people who have been showing symptoms of the virus, which means and they've been they've been quarantined in port supposedly for I don't even know how long. But having said that, think about it: if you're on a ship, which is a controlled environment, you can't leave. And if this thing is airborne then that means that your, <laughs> your quarantine time frame has to constantly start restart and start over. So let's just say that it is now 20, you know, 24 days until you find out if you have it. Well, if they're just now finding this out, what's going to happen when they figure out that people don't show symptoms for 27 days or 30 days even? You know, this thing this thing is getting to the point where it is it's getting serious now it, it has been serious for a while and you're not gonna hear mainstream media talk they're not gonna talk about it you're just not gonna get it that's why I tell you guys all the time I don't believe nothing absolutely nothing I see on television and rarely do I believe anything I hear on the radio why because it's all it's all information dumbed down. It's to make you stupid. It's to make you make decisions and make the decisions that they want you to make. It just is what it is, okay? Um, also, I just learned yesterday, and I'll include the clip um, after this video, that we have four potential cases right here in my backyard, right here in Hampton Roads, Virginia, where I live. We just had their report come out yesterday and get this, they had a family of four that traveled to China. They didn't go to, uh, shoot, what's the what's the epicenter? Who, who, who Nan, who Nan, whatever. They didn't go there, but they went to China and came back. And instead of putting these people in quarantine, guess what they did? They allowed the children to go to school. Then they put them in quarantine. <laughs> I was like, wow. Now, that's if you believe what the news is saying. So, um... We have potential cases right here in my backyard. Now think about it like this. What if they were contagious? Because we don't know because of the incubation period could be up to 24 days. We don't know if they were infected or not. Let's just say those two children that went to school were carriers. And let's say while they were at school, they infected other children, which means now what? Now those other children are going home to infect their parents. Those parents are now going to go to work every day not knowing that they were infected. And that's how this thing is going to spread if it, you know, if, if it keeps going. It, it could burn out. You know, hopefully it does. Um, which most viruses do. But if this thing keeps progressing, and right now I think the last report I heard was the, the r not. Uh, ratio was one person infects four people but think about it if you're in an environment of an airplane let's say you're in an environment of an airplane you're flying back from China and you have you have the infection or you have the virus well guess what everybody on the airplane now potentially has it everybody on the airplane is a carrier of the virus so wherever they go from that point on, it could have been 150 people on that plane. Everywhere they go, when they taxi the runway, and as soon as they get off, guess what? They're walking through the airport. Now, 
everyone in the airport potentially has the virus and they're going to wherever their destinations are and most people when they're in the airport they have commuting flights which means they're infecting the airport where they are the area that they're in and then whomever they're around let's just say those are four people they're going to get on airplanes they potentially affect four more people who go to other airports who get on airplanes who are infecting other people and this thing this thing could just turn on its head with I mean because I, I I've been saying ever since I heard about this I believe that you know as good as as good as China may be at containing I think it's in the millions already and I've been saying that for a few weeks now I think it's I think it's in the millions already as far as the infection um, and they may be reporting the numbers that they have this morning I checked uh, Wu flu and it was like a th over a thousand dead now. Uh, I can't remember exactly what the uh, how many were you know quote quote infected, um, but it's this thing could get out of hand real soon. And for the media not to be talking about it and not to be getting pre people prepared, I think it's a tragedy. I think it's a mistake because remember, out of sight, out of mind. Out of sight, out of mind. People only think about what's in the forefront of their minds because we are so, I hate to say we're shallow, but you know, if it's not on survivor, survivor or if it's not on, um, you know, the, the, whatever TV show we're watching, then we tend to not even believe it's real, unfortunately. So I just wanted to come in, and I, like I said, I'm gonna include that video because I, I was, I heard the news report of my local news yesterday, and they were like, "Yeah, we got a potential for people you know, infected, but you know, don't worry about it because the likelihood is like zero and none." I'm like, "Okay." So anyway, guys, thank y'all so much for being here as as usual. I will um, be honest with y'all. I've I've had a hard time. I've had a rough time just getting getting back on track as far as posting like I was before and to be honest with you I, I really kind of got just demotivated um, and it, it has really become a uh, I hate to say a chore but it's, it's become another job for me you know you guys know I work all the time I'm constantly doing something constantly working um, and YouTube just I had to put it on the back burner because it had become a um, it had literally become like just kind of tough to do to be honest with y'all but i'm getting back on track okay but I, I want you to i want you to know that i appreciate you for being here i love you immensely prep 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 water 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 we went on a water run last night and we got to go back um we'll probably go back wednesday night maybe for another water run <clears throat> and um this week between this week and next week my my uh my goal is to um uh, increase my water stores by 25 percent okay so, uh, and that's, you know, that's our drinking water. So, uh, I also want to shout out Queenie. Queenie, thank you so much for this necklace. I'm, I'm wearing my necklace. I know you said it's going to help. And, um, I know we'll talk soon. All right. Thank you guys so much. I send y'all some love and peace and blessings back to you. Okay. Take care. Hampton Roads. Health officials have placed four Newport News students on self-monitoring. It's been reporter Brian Hill live outside Warwick High School. So self-monitoring, what does that mean for them and the rest of the staff and students, Brian? Good morning. So luckily, uh, local health officials say that the students are not showing any symptoms and people should not be alarmed, but they are keeping those students out of school right now. And we're told that parents of students attending Warwick, Woodside, and Denby High Schools were alerted after those students were urged to stay home. So here's what we know so far. School officials say those four students returned from a family trip to China last week. They attended school for one day during that same week before they were told to stay home. So the students were screened in China and again here in the U.S., showing no signs of the coronavirus. But based on protocol, the students and family members are being quarantined where they will be monitored for symptoms. With the medical advances that we have, it would be a good idea to, you know, keep an eye on them for at least a couple weeks. This family is not showing any symptoms, but we're following the, the guidelines the CDC provided to us. 
and the family's been very cooperative. So again, as of right now, like you just heard, uh, those students are not showing any symptoms, and school officials as well as health officials say the students pose little to no risk to the school population. And health officials tell us that the students and their families were not in Wuhan, which was the epicenter of the outbreak. Live in New